What's the last three months been like for you? Oh uh, man, uh, actually it's been it's been pretty tough and good at the same time. You know, um, I'm rehabbing really well right now. You know, I'm ahead of, of schedule with everything. I uh, just started running last week and this week. I started running for the first time and, uh, you know, it feels great. I feel stronger on my knee. Uh, you know, it's been tough also, but, you know, I feel like I've mentally gotten stronger. What and, you, uh, yeah. Going through that, you know, the, the exit and everything, how do you, I guess, when you're talking to the team, they're trying to make your case as a guy mm -hmm. that you, they should be considered. How do you, I guess, translate, take that and sort of use it as a motivation? Yeah. Right? Um, you know, I let my film speak for itself, but also, you know, I just tell them how much of a hard worker I am, how dependable I am, you know, how coachable I am, you know, things like that. And, um, you know, I feel like, you know, the the staff in this building can also vouch for me with that. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like I'll have a chance to, you know, make a 53-man where I start. I just got to make the best of it. How much did playing in that pro-style offense help you? prepare for the next level? Uh, I have tremendously. You know, I feel like my football I IQ has increased a lot. And, um, you know, just being in the huddle and, you know, getting a, a long play call only one time and, you know, having to retain all the information and run my right, you know, I feel like that's exactly what it's going to be like in the league. So, you know, Liam really helped me out with that. As far as you on your progress, where would you, where do you feel you're at? Ahead of schedule, on schedule, getting there? You know, I guess take yeah. a where you feel you're at. Yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely ahead of schedule right now. Um, you know, month three is when, you know, you're supposed to start, you know, getting the running and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm there right now. Uh, hopefully, I actually, after this, I have to go get on the treadmill and run. So, you know, I'm still working. I'm still chopping wood. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely had a schedule. What are you pitching to teams whenever you're in interviews or your agents or something? What's kind of been the game plan for why why should we draft Josh Ali? Um, you know, like I said, you know, I'm dependable. I have great routes. You know, great hands. You know, I'm working on, well, I have a setback on speed right now, but, you know, when I get to there, you know, I'm going to work as much as I can on that. Um, you know, I can play every position. I can play inside, outside. You know, I can motion. You know, my, my film speaks for that also. I can run reverses. You know, I feel like I'm just an all-around receiver. And, um, yeah. What, what will you be able to do tomorrow as far as? Um, I'm not, tomorrow I'm not going to do anything. I'm just purpose on I'm there to you know talk to agents and you know just support all my guys that's participating in pro day uh especially Wandell and uh you know if I have to spot if I have to spot catch with Terry you know I'll do that too so you know whatever's gonna make them those guys you know pro day is as better as it can be you know I'm just there for support and uh you know just talk to scouts and tell them my progress and stuff like that what's it been like having Terry back around oh man it's great man you know Terry has you know he's progressed a lot you know, since the last time I seen him throw, and uh, you know, I, I hope just I hope that the coaches see what I see tomorrow. You, you obviously want to get drafted yourself, and yeah. Kind of be on teams radar. But Definitely. Do they ask you a lot about you know like him and, and like one day guys that you put? Do they ask about um, the you played with? Uh, not necessarily. You know, uh, I think everybody knows the relationship me and one day have. You know, but um, you know, when, when I when I get into you know talking to coaches, you know, I. I want to talk about myself and what I can do, you know, because, you know, I'm trying to make the team too. So I don't get into other guys when I'm talking to coaches. You know, I try to focus on myself. When you're healthy, where are you expecting that 40 time line? Oh, definitely low four fours. You know, um, I'm moving to Atlanta, you know, after pro day to you know, start training and rehabbing and stuff like that with some coaches. So definitely when I come back running and stuff, it's going to be a 4-4. Are you going to go on record and say you're going to be Wondell's number at the combine? Ooh, you want to go I don't know about that. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that because I don't want him. You know, I don't want him getting on line saying, "Are you sure?" Nah, I ain't gonna say that. You know, Wondell, he, you know, me and him, two different, two different type of receivers. But yeah, he's blazing. That's what I see. Even though I saw him running routes the other day. He looks great. The last so. thing for me is uh, any teams kind of pointed out, like, you know, when you when you were out, mm -hmm. I mean, statistically and really just like the proof is, is that the offense really bogged down when you were out and then when you were in it opened up the rest of that. Is that something that teams have talked about with you or vice versa? Um, yeah, you know, on film you can tell that, you know, things died down a little bit with the depth and everything like that. You know, uh, you know, more defenses were just focused on Wandell and double teaming him and stuff like that. But, you know, as you see he still made it happen. So, you know, shouts out to him for, you know, picking up my slack when I wasn't there. But uh yeah, I mean you can tell from the film you can definitely tell. I guess big picture wise. Josh, you look at, you talked about Josh, Wondell, mm -hmm. you, 
and even guys from previous years, a lot of Kentucky guys that are in the NFL right now. What does it say about, I guess, the continued growth of this program that more guys are not only having success here in college, but then, you know, they're going to the next level and contributing? Uh, it shows that, you know, when Kentucky say recruit and develop, that's what they really do. And, um, you know, I just, I'm happy to be a part of this, you know, just this time at the school and seeing this program, you know, rise and win 10 games, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, I think it's very important to, you know, just hold those guys at, you know, it's still a high standard, you know, even though the one that's not here anymore, as you can see, people got Lynn on the wall, got Josh on the wall. So they're obviously showing their praise to those guys, but, you know, it's, it's been a, a journey and, you know, uh, I'm glad I was a part of this process.